Hey everyone, there are new micro drones and components coming out all the time, which is pretty cool. The one I want to show you today is a new type of HD camera for lightweight builds. Um, and I've got one in this build right here. This is a prototype of an upcoming product for Beta FPV. It's called the HX115 HD. Um, it looks a lot like their Humquad HX100, but this one is of course just a little bit bigger, has three inch props, and it has that HD camera. Uh, the camera and the drone are not available for sale just yet, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek. And for today's video, it's really the camera that I want to focus on because that's the part that makes this build unique. And here it is. It's a split camera and DVR board like the others. But the thing that makes this unique is this is not 20 by 20 millimeter mounting. This is 26 by 26, which is the same as a Whoop flight controller. That means it can be mounted directly above or below any Whoop style flight controller like this. Um, including the all-in-one boards that so many people are using on their toothpicks, uh, twigs, primos, all those kind of builds. So that's pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen a DVR board like this specifically designed for whoops and toothpick style builds. They call this the Whoop Edition because of the shape of this board, but there is also a regular edition of the Runcam Split 3 Nano. I don't have that one for comparison, but I do have its predecessor. This is the Runcam Split 2 Micro, and you can see the DVR boards are really about the same size. It's the whole pattern that's different. As you can see, the camera element is a lot smaller than the previous generation. This is 14 millimeter mounting screws, just like the EOS 2, Runcam, Nano 2, uh, cameras like that. So there's gonna be lots of canopies that can already hold a camera like this, and it's gonna save a bunch of weight compared to the previous generation. Um, all told, the camera and DVR board is just over nine grams. For comparison, its predecessor, the Runcam Split 2 Micro, was just over 13 grams. Uh, the Turtle V2 is similar in weight, so we're saving about 4 grams compared to those cameras. And here you can see it all put together in the Beta FPV HX115 HD. The camera is here. This canopy was originally designed for the EOS 2, but this camera is the same size, so it mounts in there. And the DVR board is right here. It mounts right above the all-in-one flight controller with nylon standoffs. And that's pretty cool because this same kind of mounting, I think, is going to work for a lot of different builds that use these all-in-one boards. Uh, it won't work for every build, but it's cool to have those options. Unfortunately, there are downsides to using a split-type HD camera, and that's pretty typical. The FPV experience is generally not going to be as good as having a dedicated FPV camera, and that's because it's running through a complicated uh, HD sensor and DVR board before it gets to your goggles. That's going to add some latency, and the view that you get is the cropped middle part of the HD video. So the HD gives you a wider image uh, than the FPV. And that's too bad because when flying micros, I think having a wide field of view is really important. Um, it gives you a better spatial awareness and makes it a lot easier uh, to fly proximity around objects. I don't know exactly what the latency is in terms of milliseconds or how it compares to the other products, uh, but it is enough latency for me to notice it. I was still able to fly it and have a bunch of fun, but I would be able to fly with more confidence if there was lower latency. A few more quick details. Uh, you can see the ribbon here is made of these tiny wires bundled up. Uh, that's going to be pretty delicate, but it'll have the flexibility it needs to adjust for different style builds. On the other side, you can see it does have a microphone. This port is for connecting to the detachable remote control for adjusting your in-camera menus, and then there's the button that can start and stop recording. Your micro SD card goes in here, of course, and one word of warning about that, it is pretty easy to eject the card in a crash. I lost a card that way, and then after that, I started putting electrical tape over it so that if it popped out, I at least wouldn't lose the card, but that's something to be aware of. All of the flight footage was captured with this prototype drone by Beta FPV. It's the HX115 HD, and there's a bunch more I could tell you about this build, uh, but that'll have to wait for another video when I have time. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave you with some more flight footage, um, so you can check that out. Let me know if you have any questions or what you think of this camera. We can talk about it down in the comments below. Happy flying!